Moving trend is happening in our area. Airbag thefts. There have been dozens of these thefts in Fairfax and Loudoun counties in the past few weeks. And this led to a lot of questions like what's behind it and what can you do to keep it from happening to you? Abby Larico is here now to verify. You probably think of airbags as protection in case of a collision, not necessarily something that needs to be protected. That's why we're asking, why are thieves targeting airbags? How can you prevent an airbag theft? And what happens after your airbag is stolen? It's not really an explosion. It's just a bunch of gases releasing in a pressurized manner in order to inflate a nice fluffy airbag. To verify, we turn to Laura Garcia, automotive instructor at Northern Virginia Community College, the National Insurance Crime Bureau, and the Montgomery County Police Department. Airbags are very expensive. Upping their value on the black market. And she says prices are currently inflated because of supply chain issues. And these stolen airbags can also be linked to insurance fraud. Let's say a vehicle gets into an accident, an insurance company pays for a legitimate airbag. But here, that shop maybe isn't that reputable and will just buy another airbag off the street for a much lower price, they get to keep that profit. The NICB estimates 50,000 airbags are stolen each year, costing car owners and insurers more than $50 million, but costing criminals little time at all. And voila! you have your airbag. To deter possible thieves, MGPD recommends parking in well-lit known areas, investing in cameras, alarms, or clubs, and always locking doors and windows. Just sort of the things you would do to prevent general theft anyway. And if you do get your airbags stolen, NICB says it's important to take your car to an automotive professional. Airbags are inherently dangerous. You'll also want to go to a pro if your airbag light comes on. It could be a sign of a faulty, fake, or improperly installed device. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.